Hi, like we mentioned in our previous episode, today we will talk about source of heat. Ah, we all love hot summer days, chilling out with friends, vacations, pool parties and drinking cocktails. But wait, 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 we are getting away from the point. Our sun is in the center of our solar system. Like most of the stars, it's mostly made of hydrogen. To be precise, 72%, 26% of its mass goes to helium and the remaining 2% goes to 7 other elements Oxygen, Carbon, Neon, Nitrogen, Magnesium, Iron and Silicon. Diameter of Sun is 109 times bigger than Earth. Approximately billion of planets Earth size could fit in that space. Visible part of the Sun is about 10,000 Celsius, while temperatures in its core can reach over 15 million of Celsius. Core is place where the nuclear fusion is happening. The amount of energy produced in one second is equal to 100 billion megaton nuclear explosions. And that is happening every second, every day, of the year, over the last 4.6 billion years. It will continue for another 5 billion years until it burns away remaining hydrogen reserves. Then it will start to burn helium and because it needs more energy to burn, temperatures will rise. That will lead to expansion of sun to about 250 times bigger than original. It will stay expanded for billion years until it burns away helium too. And then nuclear fusion stops. Star will start to shrink and eventually explode leaving huge clouds of dust and gases. Core will become white dwarf and it will burn slowly until it cools and freezes. More massive stars can do this over the course of seconds, leaving behind blasts known as supernova. On the other hand, biggest stars cannot escape their own gravity and they become black holes. For more details about this phenomenon, watch our previous video. We hope that until our sun dies we will survive on our planet and find a way to migrate to another solar system with younger sun. At this moment it is impossible, because nearest planet that could sustain life is 4.2 light years away from Earth. And here is the explanation for light year. Light year is distance that light travels in one year. It needs to be said that light year is value for distance and not for time. For precise calculations, light years is equal to 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters in second. And because there is 31 million 536 seconds in one year, we can use this formula S equals V times T to calculate approximately light year distance 9.5 thousand billion kilometers. Using same formula, we get that one photon of light needs 8 minutes and 20 seconds to get from Sun to us. If you are interested what is photon and what is its role in universe, wait for our next video. I hope that you enjoyed our time together, share video with friends and on your social media, so you can help us in making videos like this. Thank you for your time.